Last summer, a failed military coup in Turkey left at least 249 people dead. In the months since, the country's president, Recep Erdogan, has tried to silence his opposition, largely by putting them in jail. Over the past year, the Turkish government has detained more than 100,000 people. Erdogan's government has accused many of these prisoners of being followers of religious leader Fatela Gulen, the man he blames for organizing the coup. In Turkey, the crackdown has spread rampant fear among Erdogan's critics. But in the United States, it's inspired one follower of Gulen to become a new and unlikely voice of dissent. Are you going to be okay, sir? Am I? You can be okay, okay I'll be okay, sir. Is it weird to play as yourself? I don't pick myself. I you, don't pick, you don't put yourself in the game? <laughs> uh, sometimes I do, but... You can sub yourself in whenever you want. Okay. I won't judge you. Ennis Kenner is 25 years old and 6 feet 11 inches tall. Are you kidding me? At least you can hit threes, right? Yeah. He plays in the NBA, where he's earned a reputation for introducing players to halal food, starring in goofy videos with teammates, Rubies! and speaking out against Turkey's president, Erdogan. He's a terrible man, definitely. Oh, thank you. Cantor and I ordered dinner to my apartment. He'd spent the day fasting for Ramadan. Let's see, I got a large shish kebab. Okay. Yeah, I got a chicken mix grill. Okay. And I got a large vegetable platter with hummus, baba okay. ganoush. Where's yours? Uh, kefir. <laughs> Where's <laughs> mine? <laughs> Cantor is a longtime follower of Gulen, a 76-year-old preacher and outspoken critic of Turkey's president. For the past few decades, Gulen has lived in exile in rural Pennsylvania. But that hasn't stopped Erdogan from labeling him and his followers terrorists. Erdogan is using his power to abuse people. And that's what's really making me, you know, driving me crazy. He doesn't do nothing wrong. He's always right. He's always perfect. If you don't believe in that, then he wants you to be out of the country or he will put you in a jail if you keep uh, talking about it. Cantor's one of Turkey's most famous athletes. So his political views, which he often shares on social media, have enormous reach. And his opinions haven't gone unnoticed by Erdogan's regime. Keep up with us. Last month, the Turkish government abruptly canceled Cantor's passport, leading to a confusing few hours in Bucharest, Romania, where he was stranded at the airport. I will uh, keep you posted, guys, but just pray for us. Eventually, he was allowed to fly to New York. Where are you heading to? Heading home. We are allowed to go back to America now. But a few days later, Turkish media reported that Turkey had issued a warrant for Cantor's arrest, accusing him of being a member of a terror group. What do you think would have happened if you were sent back? I'll be in a jail, and probably the second day, you'll be here from the news, and oh, he just got poisoned, and he just died. He got food poison. Or, or he was depression, he hanged himself. I don't know. I'm just giving examples. Because when I talk, it goes everywhere. They hate it. Two weeks after Turkey canceled Cantor's travel documents, it jailed his father for almost a week, even though his parents have publicly disowned him. Cantor hasn't spoken to them in more than a year. They put a letter out there and say, we disowned Enes because he's speaking out against Erdogan. If they didn't send that letter out, then they will be in a jail last year. Right. When I saw that your parents had put that statement out, my first thought was, but Enes grew up going to a ghoul in a school? Yes. Yeah. So I didn't, in second grade, I didn't understand what kind of a school it was. Do you think that your father was arrested because you were speaking out? Of course. It was like a kind of like a warning for, uh, for me. Oh, if you don't stop talking, we'll put your dad in jail and your mom will be next. They think I'm going to stop talking. But no, when they do it, I want to talk more. To tell all these people, like, this is what's really going on. Do you worry that next time it won't just be jail? I mean, I mean, the, the worst thing it could happen is just, you know, the jail, or just, you know, they're, they're gonna torture him in jail, or they're gonna, you know, just get raped, and that's the most terrible thing that will happen. I understand my family, of course, important. I love my family, I love my country, but I have to do this uh, for, you know, all the citizen people. Cantor signed a $70 million four-year contract with the Oklahoma City Thunder in 2015. His public battle with the Turkish government could make it harder for him to honor some of his obligations. So what happens next? With you, you don't have a Turkish passport. You have a, a green card here, yes. right? 
Well, is the NBA helping you or the Oklahoma State they, Thunder I'm helping I'm going to talk to them because, I mean, we're going to play against Toronto Raptors in Canada. So I'm, I need to be able to leave the country. Have you thought about the fact that you might never be able to go back to Turkey? That's the risk I'm taking. That's the risk I'm taking. And of course, uh, I said before, I love my country. I love my flag. I miss my, you know, Turkish food. But this is way bigger than basketball. This is way bigger than NBA. This is way bigger than everything I'm doing.